Welcome back to the tool shed. In this tool I call Starfish, it really is an opportunity for you to recommit to your mission, to your purpose, to causes that are near and dear to your heart, but usually in my experience if they're a true cause then they're bigger than anything we can ever uh, accomplish or fulfill. Otherwise, it's probably not a purpose or a why, as I call it in other videos, or a cause. It's, you know, it's a hobby, it's a want, it's, it's an important contribution you're making to the world, but it isn't enough to, to sort of make it to that upper echelon. And if it is a why, if it is a purpose, here's the truth. You're never going to finish what you've started, and there's going to be a piece of you at times, or you know, maybe um, all the time that feels like, what's the point? Or people around you tell you, you know, you can't, you can't fix this problem. Why even try? So I think about the story of the man who's walking on the beach down in Florida, and it's um, low tide, and left behind on, there are all kinds of critters, especially starfish who have been washed up onto the beach. Now starfish can last quite a time a while outside of the water but it can't last forever and so every morning the man's down there and he's walking along and he's throwing starfish back in the ocean another passerby says what are you doing he says you know I'm I'm throwing these starfish back in the ocean to give them uh, a chance to live the guy looks down the beach and sees like thousands and thousands of starfish and says you can't do this you can't save them all right what does it matter the man, the starfish uh, thrower, thinks about it for a second, looks at the man, bends down, picks up a starfish, throws it back in and says, well, it matters to this one. And I think of starfish when I'm doing my work to help men rise up in the second half of life. I can't, I can't do it all. I can't help them all. Some men will end up like my dad. In case you haven't heard me talk about it a thousand times, my dad ended up killing himself. Um, when he was in the afternoon of life. He was 60 years old, and I tried. Uh, I did my part, I did my best, and it wasn't enough. All I could do was, was try, throw my, in my way the starfish back in the water. Sometimes the starfish are dead. Sometimes um, they give, they've given up hope. We can do our best, we can give them a, you know, a helping hand, get them back into their water, back into their life with the choice of living, but if they choose not to swim or, or live underwater, that's, that's their choice, and it's not my fault. But uh, I go on to the next starfish. That's what I've been doing ever since. It matters to this one, and it matters to this one. And there are times when it just feels overwhelming. There's all kinds of things that I'm involved with, just like you, where it just feels too big. It just feels too heavy of a lift, and it doesn't matter. And I thought about that the other day when I was recycling. Like, I'm not a passionate environmentalist, but I want to want to do my part. And I was just thinking, like taking out this this thing of recycling, um, and I don't even know if it actually gets to where it's going and does what they say it's going to do. But to me, it was a starfish. Like, what's the alternative? Just to throw it in the garbage and not care? Hey, look, I'm not going to live or die for me based on this act. But it's my starfish. It matters. It matters to this one, right? It matters to some degree. If everybody walks around throwing starfish back in the ocean, maybe we can clean up this beach. So I think a very simple tool, a very comforting tool, and if you're sort of giving up on the cause or feeling like it never ends or it's hopeless, right, it matters to this one. Just move ahead one starfish at a time, doing your part, showing up day after day, it matters to this one.